Just over a year ago, the New York Jets introduced Tim Tebow as their backup quarterback. I'm excited about being a Jet, and um, this is where I want to be. But the experiment is over. The Jets waived Tebow Monday. Very disappointing news, very disappointing. They should give him a chance. He's from New York, you know, very strong team. You got to work hard and get people a try nowadays. That's a sentiment echoed by several Jets fans on the streets of New York Monday. Starter Mark Sanchez struggled amid constant questions about Tebow's playing time. I like Tim Tebow. I don't think he was given an opportunity to do what he can do. Um, I think they used him. And I believe that uh, given the opportunity, he can he can really show what he got. They need to let him produce, uh, stay on for a minute, see how well he produces, because they don't know what he what he's capable of doing yet. The Heisman Trophy winner attempted just eight passes after a surprising trade from the Denver Broncos. He threw for 39 yards and rushed 32 times for 102 yards and had no touchdowns as a Jet. In the second round of last week's draft, the Jets took former West Virginia star quarterback Geno Smith creating uncertainty around Tebow and Sanchez. I feel it's the right decision. I feel like he should never actually sign with the Jets. You know, they had Mark Sanchez, and um, Tim Tebow is more of a spread, uh, you know, offense guy. And um, they, didn't use, they didn't use his tools or anything. Tebow was a two-time national champion with the University of Florida and led the Broncos to the playoffs. So what's next? He's a talented athlete, uh, and I, I wish him the best. I think he's going to be successful somewhere. Options may include Chicago, Tampa Bay, San Diego, and New England, or even a move north to the Canadian Football League. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.